Hello friends, welcome to quickerexam.com and today we will learn what is tsunami. So let's see. Tsunami is a Japanese word which means harbor wave. And it is not a single wave, it is series of wave. This wave has a long wavelength. And it must be noted that it is always and always generated by the vertical movement of the sea floor, not the horizontal movement. So let's see the reasons. First reason is a earthquake under the sea. When the continental plate strikes with the oceanic plate, one plate comes under another. Due to this high pressure generates, and this pressure pulls the water toward the upward direction. And this wave travels toward the harbor, and due to the shallowness of the harbor, this results in tsunami. Let's elaborate it with one example. When we are washing our car at the home, what do we do? We decrease or decrease the opening of the pipe with the help of finger to decrease or decrease the pressure of the water. What we are actually doing? We are increasing or decreasing the area of the opening of the pipe to decrease or decrease the pressure of the water. So same thing is happening when the tsunami wave is in open ocean, it is nothing. When it is coming toward the harbor due to shallowness of the harbor, pressure has increased because area has decreased. So it resulted in tsunami. So let's move to the second reason. As we all know, the oceanic floor is not a flat one. There are some high point and some deep point. When due to erosion, rocks displaces from the higher point to the lower point, water displaced. And when this, this water is displaced, this water comes toward the upward direction and wave is generated. And when this wave travels toward the harbor, this resulted in tsunami. Let's move to the next region is volcano. When there is any volcano under the sea, this pulls the water toward the upward direction and same the wave travels toward the harbor and due to shallowness of the harbor, tsunami is generated. Next reason is a mega tsunami. Mega tsunami is happened due to the meteorites. When any meteorites from the sky fall on the sea, it generates high waves. And when these waves travel toward the harbor, it results in a tsunami. So, there is a one another motion, landslide motion. See, here I have shown T1, T2, T3 diagram. Suppose this is ocean and this is your harbor. When rocks from the harbor slides toward the sea, it fills this gap. And water from here goes upward. And this generates a wave. And when this wave travels toward the harbor, it generates tsunami. Early warning system of tsunami. So, people have developed a system to give early warning of tsunami. What they do? They put some sensor on the seabed. And these sensors are measuring the pressure. When there is any change in pressure, these send a signal to the system which is floating on the sea. And this system sends the signal to the satellite. And satellite send the signal to a station which is on the earth and this is how this early warning system is working so what we can do construct long wall along the harbor like japan plant more tree along the harbor or awareness among the people can be increased who are living in the coastal area as friends this is very natural phenomena we cannot do very much to stop this tsunami but we can decrease the effect of tsunami by doing all these things so friends hope this video is helpful to you Subscribe our channel for more videos.